Good day everyone, I'm Giselle B. Marco from 11 STEM 1. For today, I will talk about how to use Scratch for online animated story making. Let's start now. Using any search engine, you can visit the website of Scratch. The front page of Scratch will be displayed after. To start, sign up. Since I have an account already, I'll just sign in. Click create to redirect to the editor. Delete the built-in sprite which is the cat. We will start in making the title frame. We can use the tools displayed such as the shape, color, text, and etc. We can also use the flip, rotation, select, and we have the dots, select the dots, and also we can also use the rectangle to recolor the frame. Add text or your title and it should be emphasized and readable. It, you can resize the title by dragging down the edges and the lines, circles to serve as the design. The title should be eye-catching. So you can just copy and paste the text and change the font color to gain emphasis. To add backdrops, click on the image button that is located on the bottom right side of the screen and choose the choose a backdrop. It will go to the gallery and from there you can choose your back desired background. To add sprites or characters, click on the cat icon beside the image button and choose select a sprite and you will be displayed with a gallery of sprites or characters and you can choose from there we will first animate the title frame so we need to hide first the sprite selected the blocks at the left of the screen will be used in animating objects and the title and color of the blocks are connected to its functions. As we drag the event block with a flag, it means that when we click the flag, the animation starts. In coding, you just need logic and understanding. Since all the commands are available, you just need to arrange them to satisfy your expected outcome. When we click sound, we will be displayed with a wave-like picture where we can edit our audio. You just need to click, drag, and drop. To add more sound effects, click the speaker button and to add more sound effect, click the speaker button and choose from the collection. To use sound or the sound effects you have chosen, you just need to use a sound block. To animate a sprite, you just need to click it and it will be shown in the visual area. You need to start using your analytic mind for its movement is calculated. The same blocks will be used with the same function and same arrangement. You can also manipulate the character or the sprites using the tools below the display area or the visual area. Different Costumes is available and some characters but not all. You can use it using the loop block. So let's talk about the blocks one by one. First is the blue block for motion. So you, you just need to input the duration and the location where the object or the sprite will be located after the movement. Second is the violet one for the looks where you can display the mind, the thinking, or the thoughts of the sprites. And you can also change the costume, change the backdrop, and you also can change the size of something, of object. The next one is the yellow events, the indicators. It is the motor because um, when the program starts, it always starts with a events next is orange for control where it contains more flexible 
conditions such as if, return, if else, and etc. Next is the light blue sensing. Well, sensing is a common common for us. Operators, the minus, plus, divide, and such. Variables, we can add our own variables using this blocks. Next one is blocks, my blocks. To preview code, we can click the code itself or we can click the flag. To stop reviewing, we can just click the red button beside the flag. We can also add extensions. Just click the button below the blocks and choose from the collection. For my case, I choose I chose text to speech. Type a sentence into the green box and the output will be a speech. You can also choose type of voice and language. This is the coding process of my project and you can check it out to see what do you think you can apply in this process. It is an application of basic, basic commands and basic drag and drop, basic combination of the blocks.
in saving your animated story click the save now in the upper right corner of the screen and click see project page and it will be you will be redirected into another page where you can edit details of your project and after a while you can save it I, Giselle P. Marco, proudly present Baby the Shark, an animated story. I, Giselle P. Marco, March 2019-2020, 11 STEM 1 represents.